game nerves just fine tonight. And it's Travis Etienne looking for room on the right side and finding it. Etienne into the secondary. A foot race. They won't catch him, and the Tigers score on the opening play. Seven nothing on the lightning strike by Etienne on the first play. And now they hand it off, spelling him with the veteran. And it's a short game by. They fake it to Feaster, and Lawrence is going to loop the ball downfield and drops it perfectly in. But T. Higgins couldn't come up with it. No blitz. Lawrence rolls and delivers a short throw, but well short of the marker. It's, it's ETN. Long touchdown to open the game. Short touchdown to make it 13 0. Two back look. It's Feaster in motion. They flip it to him behind the line of scrimmage. And he's able to fight back for no gain. Pat Narduzzi being aggressive. Play action. Lawrence goes downfield, and the catch is made. Justin Ross, the tap. Good coverage, better throw. And now a handoff. This is Darian Kendrick, another true freshman. Yeah, the future's It's rare. You don't see it. And the throw far side. It's off the hands of his receiver, Ross. Panthers back out, and there's a handoff to Feaster inside, who busts through a tackle and is knocked down inside the 20. And a low, uncharacteristically off target performance against the Gamecocks is now in the game. And he's got the football as the Panthers claw the middle. Just a yard. In a choice in the pistol, but Lawrence fakes it, keeps it. That ball is deflected. Rashad Weaver is an excellent defense. They come after Lawrence. He gets it out. Long throw. Almost intercepted. Give it to ETN. And ETN, who averaged about 38 yards in his first two carries. Muscles out across. ETN again. Knocked down. You see Dabo Sweeney with the play chart. I'll tell you, he Lawrence from the end zone. Lofts it downfield for Ross over the head. He's looking for a flag against Pinnock. Always wanted to be just like him, but he said his family has closure coming into this season, and that's been important. Sure was, and now ETN breaks free. As he again is sparking this Clemson offense, he's deep into Pittsburgh territory. His second is up at the 30. And it's now Feaster in the game, and he's got space. And he's got about seven or eight. Still fighting. You're the marker now. I just want to real quick just go back to what Maria was just talking he is. She said his deep faith is a, is a big reason for that. Slamming forward for a first down. And drive. Trying to extend this lead. And Lawrence, after a delay, hands off the ETN. Oh, breaks four yeah. tackles. Wow. I'm telling you, man, he, he is Southern. Second and seven. Feaster. Knocked down inside the ten. And it's first and goal. But Lawrence, end zone, caught. Touchdown, T. Higgins. What passing yards in the game because Lawrence has just 35 of them, but the running game has been strong. This is choice. They rely on it again. And choice. Heavy traffic falls forward. Hunter Renfro has conversion. One of five, needing two, and ETN will get it easily now near the 30. He pick up this. ETN, that time the Panthers smother him. Into the studio, doing a great job this year, coming off of coaching and into TV. And it's Higgins, who can't come up with it. Pinnock. Panthers only rush three. And Lawrence delivers a strike on the sideline. That's Trevion. Now the Tigers trying to add to the lead. Lawrence for the end zone, just like that. They make the Panthers pay. There's run tonight, but I think they'll throw it more. ETN makes that quick cut and gets eight. I'll make you a little gentleman in the ball, but having a balanced attack. And there's Renfro making his first catch of the night and extending the streak, but it's for a. Pressure again, picked up. Lawrence delivers, but again, miscommunication 
with Higgins to a potential 200 yard game tonight. They fake it to him and flip it short to Trevion Thompson, who's tackled right at combined for both teams is 15. Clemson has only 14 yards out. Lawrence has time and delivers to Renfro. Takes a shot, man. That's right at the marker. Ham didn't have a postseason touchdown last year. And Lawrence rolling and cheeks it downfield over the head. ETN dragged down. Night confidence in battling the Irish right down to the end. Lawrence has a lot of room. And he shows his athletic ability. Dodges a tackler at six foot six. He can scoop, but he can also at his best running game against the Gamecocks last week. He wanted to go downfield, but then he's just going to run out of time and get swarmed. Etn accelerates and then spin. And Lawrence throws it up, oh, and that battle is won by Pinnock. He broke it up. Position if if Alabama blew George out, which they did not. On the slant that uh, Higgins almost got free. The passing game. In the latter stages of this, this is a keeper for Lawrence, who again gets around the edge and deceptively guards. Final play of the third quarter. It's a flea flicker. And love to get downfield to a wide open Justin Ross, who's going to be stopped. Choice is the choice on first and goal, and he shows great determination and spotted short. Not Did he get in there? Yes. No doubt that time. Choice after the short punt. You know, Lawrence, you know, Lawrence down up on the board. Speaking of speed, Kirk, Lynn J. Dixon is another oh. freaky true freshman in there. He's a freshman out of Butler, Georgia. It was just a, another. And that time Dixon met in the backfield by Dennis Briggs. You know, most people when they think. Quarterback change at Clemson as the Tigers go with. Chase Bryce, the guy who came on, Kirk. Uh, Here they are still with a chance to win the ACC and be in the playoff. It's Choice. Two by three. And Choice. Drag right down inside the 35. Will show you. No doubt. And that guy was, it shows you the value of preparation. He was the third string quarterback. The pretty great win that day in that atmosphere. Uh oh. Look out. Bryce keeps it. Has a crease. And it's going to be Jaws. Tripped up at the five. He was thinking about it. first and goal. And there's the young man bouncing it in. Dixon scores. I knew half the committee is new. That may play into it. But again, conference championships are supposed to. But they don't. They don't mean anything. And they're Georgia's a more complete team. I wouldn't argue with that. I mean, there have been plenty of championship teams, much less playoff teams, that are absolutely elite. And they're going to finish with eight yards passing. Dabo Sweeney had, had already been 